Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. It's Eva from Bohemian Crafting and today we will create something uh, because we can travel again already. Yay! <laughs> I decided to do some uh, quick travel travelers journal and for that uh, look what I found in our charity shop. Beautiful old atlas book and I would like to somehow alter that book for that i need to take few pages off so i'm gonna start with small projects always will take some few pages off and once i will have this book quite empty just with few leftovers inside i will alter it so today i will start with some quick travelers journal and i hope you will join me i've got here a box from oatmeals we like them by the way they are very tasty and i do have here amazon shopping bag and um, i hope i will somehow use it so first i'm gonna grab some pages and i will create my base so i choose four pages that will be good start uh, these pages are quite big if you want to know the size of my pages i need to take this ruler and i'm gonna measure it so the size is 14 and 3 quarter by 11. 14 and 3 quarter by 11. It's size of that Atlas book. And I've got four pages and I will start with <clears throat> one of them. Maybe this one. We've got here this beautiful lace. And on these long sides, I'm going to put one strip of that lace here and one strip of that lace on that opposite side so I did two of these pages exactly same I uh, glued and then stitched with zigzag stitching uh, my lace trim on the sides on those long sides now I'm gonna fold them on the half And I will use that zigzag stitching like this. So I do have zigzag stitching on the top and we have created the sleeve. Like this. I'm going to take those two other pages. And first, before I will do anything with them, I'm going to cut this uh, strip, this white strip. So those two pages will be not that white. They will be a little bit smaller so from both of them i'm gonna cut this strip where you mostly have those um, numbers so i do have my side strips and i've got two pages which are a little bit more narrow than those first ones and i'm gonna do exactly same put that lace trim on those long sides on both of them and fold it exactly same way I do have four sleeves done. I'm gonna take another page and I'm gonna fold it half and kind of rip it off on, on two pieces. And I'm gonna take my Amazon shopping bag Um, I think I'm gonna destroy it to make one big piece of brown paper. So I took off all labels, opened the pack, and now I'm gonna glue it my maps on that brown paper, and I will leave kind of frame around. So I do have backed my papers and I also made that uh, zigzag stitching all around uh, from other page I'm gonna fold it half oh, first I'm gonna cut again that strip on the side to make it a little bit uh, narrow than those others then I will fold it on half 
one I will back with that uh, Amazon shopping shopping back paper. And I have also added that stitching, zigzag stitching all around. And the other one, I'm gonna uh, cut on pieces, on strips, two and a half inches wide. Uh, my ruler is two and, two and a half inches wide. So I'm gonna use my ruler and cut these strips from my leftover, from that page. Using a knife. I'm gonna take my shopping bag and I'm gonna glue these papers uh, on my shopping bag and again I will keep the brown paper around. So I do have those three strips. Uh, I also, same like before, uh, made that sewing around with that zigzag stitching. So now I do have four sleeves three those sheets and three of these uh, strips and that last strip when I cut these strips that last uh, the narrow one I glued also on that Amazon uh, Amazon shopping bag and I left I think it's half inch around that we will use a little bit later right now we we're gonna do some kind of layout so need, first I need to have a look which are the biggest one and the smallest one yeah I do have it right way so those are bigger uh, sleeves I do have here and these are those smaller sleeves so I'm gonna start with bigger one and I do have here also one smaller page this is a smaller page so I've got a big sleeve and big sheet I'm gonna take another big sleeve and another big sheet now one small sleeve small sheet and small sleeve I'm gonna place them to nice position like pyramid not on one side but like pyramid so all these sides will be kind of even evenly put together like this I'm gonna take my uh, paper clips large ones and I'm gonna clip these pages together on the sides to make sure they will hold nicely in the position I just place them I'm gonna take my ruler and I'm gonna make a mark where it's a middle of my papers yeah it's actually between those two images are making my my middle of my book so here is the middle of my book and i'm gonna make a marks mm, i think one quarter of inch on the sides here is one quarter of inch and here is one quarter of inch I'm gonna slide down and do exactly the same. Is it? It is. Yes, it is. This way, this way. So I'm gonna do exactly the same. It's actually this, it's my middle, which is brilliant. I'm glad it went this way. So I'm gonna take these edges of that image. Like my navigator I'm gonna make uh, make I'm gonna take my poking thing poking tool take my ruler and I'm gonna poke the holes I think in the one inch apart from the bottom to the top one inch apart here 
and on that other side as well one inch apart from the bottom to the top I'm gonna make sure that it's poked properly And here. I'm gonna take needle and thread. So I do have poked holes. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven holes on each side. And I'm gonna start from inside and I'm gonna go from one side. I think this one I'm gonna just clip here. Do I have some? Keep the clip to make sure it will don't fly somewhere. So I'm just gonna clip that end here. So I'm starting from one side and I'm gonna go kind of like across to that next one on the opposite side. And at the same position on the opposite side and a little bit up that next one up and again to that right next to it and one up across right next to it one up right next to it one up oh I'm sorry I just hit my camera stand right next to it one up And right next to it, right next to it, and we're gonna go down. So, one down across, and right next to it again, and one down across. So, from here. To that one one down across and to this right next to it and again one down across right next to it One down across. Right next to it. One down across. And right next to it. Right next to it, not not down. <laughs> right next to it. And the last one. Where we are? Oh, we are there. Okay. And here I'm going to make a knot and tie it nicely. I'm going to take my crocodile and punch the holes one here on the bottom I will try to punch it in the middle of my uh, between those marks I made 
like this and one on the top again I will try to punch it in the middle like this I'm gonna fix the eyelets like this to make sure it's nice and flat I'm gonna take my hammer and a little bit smash it down I'm gonna take a uh, elastic uh, elastic ribbon or elastic band <clears throat> and I'm gonna go from outside to the inside of my journal up around the edge of my journal and here I'm gonna cut this elastic um, the elastic ribbon or how you call that elastic string and make a knot so we just created holder for some small travelers journal or signature yeah okay tied it this way good so i can slide some papers behind those elastic bands I'm gonna fold my papers right behind that stitching and press it nicely I'm gonna fold the other side as well right behind that stitching and press it nicely so we have this right now We got here these three kind of like strips so I need to choose where I will place them I would like to keep this plain maybe for some writing so I'm gonna take my strips and I will find the spot where I want to place them I think one because you know that colors they can be visible if, uh, visible if I will place it here and I'm gonna glue that strip on the bottom so I'm gonna glue that strip on the bottom and I'm gonna go a little bit closer to the spine of my journal not exactly on the uh, on the edge of this page but a little bit closer to the spine of my journal here I will try to keep it straight I'm gonna let it dry before I will do anything else I'm gonna take another one and I will do uh, same I will put a glue on the bottom of my strips I think this way I want it yeah so on the bottom of my strip I will put a glue and this time I will go far from from the spine so I will go more on this side Okay. I'm gonna flip this and fold uh, my paper. Here I can see the edge of my journal. So I think about half inch above uh, the edge of my journal. Yeah, I think this way. Yeah, that will be enough. I'm gonna have a look if if, if is it straight. It looks that way. I will put glue. Um, oops, my glue. I will put glue here on that big piece. And just a little bit on the edge here just a little bit here and that rest here I didn't put any glue so that rest can be like a tack spot and I'm gonna let it dry same I'm gonna do with this 
So here I can see how much I did fold this first one. I'm going to fold the other one exactly the same. To make sure it's straight. Gonna check it. Yeah, it looks looks kind of <laughs> narrow. And a little bit this way. Yes, that way. Okay, and I'm gonna do the same. So I do have it glued here on the bottom. Now I'm gonna flip that page. I'm gonna put glue on my next one. Look at that glue. Okay, I'm gonna put glue here. <laughs> my crazy glue. And a little bit of glue I'm gonna put here on the edge of my page. And glue it. So this will be like tuck spot. And that next one, one, two, and maybe somewhere here. All right. I'm gonna glue the bottom of my strip. And here I will go totally right next to that um, or maybe a little bit, even even a little bit over that uh, lace lace trim. Yeah, why not? I can slide the things this way in there. So that way I will secure it from here. I'm gonna put a little bit of glue on my trim here. And I'm going to let it dry before I will do any folding. Meanwhile, I'm going to take this last strip. I'm going to take my lace trim and I'm going to grab some of these, some of these, maybe some book page, one or two. And I do have many of these strips. Okay. So first I'm going to use my leaking glue. And I'm going to put glue here. And I will use book pages to kind of add them there. And maybe some of them on opposite side right here I'm gonna take these paper strips and glue them over it kind of reinforce it or decorate it with that And on that opposite side as well, of course. And I'm gonna take my crazy leaking glue and I'm gonna add it on the edge of that book page. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm gonna take my uh, lace trim And I'm gonna glue it there, right here. And I will do same on that opposite side. And I'm gonna wait a little bit. And once it's dry, I will add that zigzag stitching 
probably somewhere here to, to stitch that that lace to make sure it's holding i think this is dry so i'm gonna fold this kind of help myself to fold that last one <coughs> pardon me to make it straight i'm gonna flip it over and do exactly the same like before i'm gonna add the glue here and on the edge of that paper sleeve and fold it over and let it dry so i will have three tabs here on the top now i think i may can use my sewing machine and do that zigzag stitching so i do have there zigzag stitching i'm gonna fold it half punch the sides with my envelope punch board one side another side and here i'm gonna decide <laughs> how big how many it is seven it's 10 10 inches look at me i've got 10 inches which means three and three eighths probably so three and three eighths somewhere here and i'm gonna punch and again three and three eighths or have i moved it on three and yeah three and three eighths somewhere here and punch i'm gonna take my scissors and cut it between that's one Hold it, cut it. That's other one. And I'm gonna open it and put my side tabs somewhere. So maybe one here can be nice. Yeah, I think I actually will like it there. So I'm gonna put the glue on the in the middle of my tab and a little bit about a half uh, halfway in that tab and i'm gonna fold put my tab on my page and fold it so that way it's glued together it's glued to the page but it's not glued all the way so even that tap will be like my slight spot or tuck spot. One here, one somewhere in the middle. Yep, I guess somewhere here. And again, I'm gonna put a glue in the middle and a little bit kind of like on half of these tabs from the middle from the fold and I'm gonna place it in the middle of my page like this and glue it this way And the last one, I think I need to pull it a little bit up because it's too in the book and it's not that much visible. Yeah, this way. The last one I will place on this page on the bottom. So I do have that base. We've got pocket sleeve we've got page with tuck spot 
page with tuck spot, pocket sleeve, page, pocket sleeve, tuck spot, tuck spot, here tuck spot and pocket sleeve, with belly band, belly band, pocket sleeve, page, pocket sleeve, tuck spot here, tuck spot here, belly band and the pocket, page and the pocket. And of course in the middle we do have uh, the elastic band for the pages for some some signature. What I'm gonna do now, uh, I'm gonna use two chipboard pieces and I cut pieces, so I'm gonna tell you how big I, oops, sorry for that noise. I do have two pieces, uh, eight inches by four and three quarter. And I'm gonna wrap them to some decorative paper. So I have two, these two images. They are from my uh, large collection of journal covers. I did uh, share with my Patreons. I think it's their 54 already now, which I shared. Uh, journal covers, this is one of them, which we created together. And you can use them this way to create just simple book cover. These are also one of the 53 or 54 journal covers, which I already shared. This is another of them. And you can use it this way. Or as I showed you, you can create just simple journal cover like this. And I do have already 50. I think it's 53 of them already there. There is also always design for front and from back of the journal. And they are all kind of different uh, book covers. And this will be just on my Patreon because it's really a huge, huge collection. If you will imagine it's 108 images, full size images. And I don't want to split it off. So it's impossible to download it on on. For me, I don't want to just it to be overloaded with some kind of, you know, zipping, unzipping. So it's on my Patreon because it's 108 images already now because there is always front cover and back cover. And I do have already prepared a second row, second running of the different journal covers. So this is just showing you what you can uh, get there if you will join my Patreon. There is lots of images. I do believe that there is already over 1000 images I shared with my Patreons. All kind of different um, different vintage images. And this is second row which I will share with my Patreons uh, very soon. I hope there is a mix of them but I do have second row with different types of journal covers. So if you want to join my Patreon, this is uh, in the tier for $5 per month. It's where you can get any kind of downloads. So that is in that tier. And there is really a lot. This is not there yet, all, all, that, uh, all that second row. There is that first row with those 54. So from, from that collection, I've got these. And I glued them on that chipboard. One will be for front and another will be for back of my journal. And I'm gonna have a look if I need some book page between. Um, yeah, maybe it will be good. So I'm gonna put a book page from the opposite side of my covers. So I do have book page from the other side and uh, I also protected the covers with wax. Uh, I just melted wax over that image to make protection of my covers. And it's nice smelling wax. It, it that, uh, It's that frag fragrance wax for, you know, home refreshing. And I'm going to glue my book cover right on the top. I'm gonna, uh, that's why I folded those pages right next to that stitching. Now I'm gonna put the glue 
here on my front of my book uh, on the lace here on that trim on the bottom of my book and there I will be very generous with glue and here around the spine and I will put my book cover right on the top make a nice coat and as you can see I didn't put the glue here on the top uh, because there will be pocket from the top so now I'm gonna place my book cover on the position I wanna see on my journal right here I'm gonna flip it over and do same with that back cover. Yes, like this. Now I'm gonna put some heavy book on the top and I'm gonna let it dry. So once it's all dry, you do have your base where there is pocket here, pocket here. We do have that spot and all these pockets and then it's pocket here from the top and pocket here so you do have your beautiful base you can add small journal in the middle and you can add uh, many beautiful decorations to your journal and in the end it can looks like this uh, i just added just few things just few pockets i created few tags and few decorative envelopes with some writing spots I have used my uh, all kind of stamps these are not just uh, from one designers they are uh, Teresa Collins Teresa Collins uh, don't remember this one <laughs> So you can create your magics on these on these pages. I've got flip out here. I've got pocket here and pocket behind. And into all these pockets here, you can add something. And this is a very uh, easy creative book. And it's perfect for those who want to try to their first book with many pockets I also created this one because I really like that hangling tuck inside and these are also Teresa Collins uh, stamps so you will have many pockets for your ephemeras uh, photos maybe some writing spots writing tags I also created uh, handmade paper clips for this journal. So many beautiful places, spaces, tuck spots for editing things. Mini pocket on belly band with tickets. I showed you the journal. Again, mini pockets for tickets. And we do have lots of space for writing, for storing things and here again Teresa Collins and also Tim Holtz stamps and few tickets as embellishment and pocket here And pocket here, tuck spot which we created, another tuck spot. Here we've got the belly band, pocket with tucks and ephemeras. And another envelope decorative. So this way you can create very easy way uh, some decorative journal. So this is my sharing for today. I hope you did enjoy it. I hope you took some inspiration. This is uh, easy way. 
multi pocket travel journal you can store there your uh, passport anything you want thank you so much for visiting me today thank you so much for spending your time with me i hope you took some inspiration have a beautiful day take care about yourself and i will see you soon bye